Today we're going to speak to Tabby Scarlett, who did the Cura Romana Journey program uh, about, oh, I don't know. Tabby, how long ago was that? Uh, probably three or four months. Three, okay. Was it that long ago? Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize that. And how much weight did you lose on the program? Uh, 24 kgs altogether. Wow. And um, how did you find it from the beginning? Was it difficult for you? And did people say, oh, my God, you can't do that. It's only 500 calories. Or Tell me a bit about that. Uh, people were a bit skeptical, but I think that's because they don't have a proper understanding of how the program works. But, yeah, they all were sort of like, oh, I'd be starving if I only had, you know, the two lots of 100 grams of protein or the vegetables or they just don't really seem to understand how it actually works. And were you starving in the beginning? I think the first day or so I was a bit hungry, but after that I felt no hunger at all. Fabulous. Now, what were the surprises that came upon you while you were doing the program? What did you learn that you didn't know before? I actually learned a lot about the body and how the body works, and that really surprised me, just to discover the amazing things your body can do if you actually allow it to function properly. And how do you feel now about your body in relation to how it was before you lost the 24 kilos? It feels absolutely amazing. And I just love to look at myself in the mirror and go, wow, I can't believe that this is me. How fun. Now, talk to me about consolidation, which, as you know, we consider to be the most important part of the program. Um, tell me about your moving from the essential spray plus food plan part of the program into consolidation. Was that a challenge for you? Uh, it wasn't too much of a challenge, really. I think the great thing about the program is that the weight comes off so easily. It just allows you to focus more on the spiritual and the mental side of it. So it wasn't like I was worried about how much weight I was losing because it was coming off so easily. But I was really excited to sort of rediscover what my body likes and what it thrives on and to find out things that it doesn't handle well because I knew that that would be what I would be putting into my body going forward to maintain the weight. Yeah, this is terribly important and very few people even begin to understand that um, our bodies, each one of us, is very individual and there are certain things that are kind of across the board for everyone. What makes you fat is not the fats you eat, provided they're good fats, um, but the carbohydrate foods that you eat, you know, the grains, the cereals, the sugars, but each person is different. Some people can manage small amounts of these after they, you know, after they, when they're on consolidation and afterwards, but other people, and I'm one of them, uh, can't manage any whatsoever. How, how do you fit into that, uh, what shall I say, that continuum? What, how, how have you found that in terms of your own body since you uh, were in consolidation and have finished the program? I'm all right with a little bit of it, but I find if I do eat too much of it, I do start to feel a little ill. Um, for me, I get it. A sore stomach or a headache that's kind of how I know that I've overdone it or if you eat a food that does that is not a food that your body loves yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. so I'm all right on some of it like I can have a little small bit of potato or something like that but obviously with the carbs being what causes you to gain the weight not something that I would have all the time well, you're a very lucky lady, and I think that has a little bit to do with your age because you are very young. Um, someone like me um, has uh, been basically raised on, you know, convenience foods as a kid. I was eating junk foods before they even had junk foods. <laughs> and for me, um, it's quite different in the sense that I can only have, oh, things like, um, you know, spaghetti if it's not wheat based uh, and other kind of carbohydrate foods very occasionally and then I don't it doesn't bother me but mm. um, you're much you're lucky and I think that has a lot to do again with your age what is the most important thing that you feel you've learned um, from doing uh, Cura Romana 
uh, both on a physical level and also, shall we say, on a spiritual or emotional level, Tabby. Tell me about that. I think the biggest thing for um, physical side of it is just learning those good foods for my body. And I'm continuously learning about that. And following you on Facebook and Twitter, there's, you know, things that I learn every day from you, which is just amazing. Um, sort of from a spiritual or a mental side of it, emotional, I just feel more in control of myself. Um, handling those stressful situations a little easier. Um, and a lot of people say I've got a lot more confident. So I always considered myself to be quite a confident person. But, you know, people at work are sort of saying, wow, you're really coming out of your shell now and we're just noticing that big personality that you have, which I was obviously holding back a little bit. That's wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. Um, and what um, have you, you've lost weight, if I, am I correct? You've lost weight um, even after uh, you finished consolidation. Is that right, Tavi? Yes, I lost about seven kgs after consolidation. Do you know why you lost that weight? My understanding is it's because of the way the body's retrained the dicephalon and continuously using that fat now to fuel the body rather than store it. Yep, that's exactly what it is. And what happens uh, with some people, not with everyone, um, but what happens with some people is once that autonomic nervous system, the, the brain control of laying down fat and burning fat, um, the hormonal system in the body becomes balanced as it does on um, Cura Romana. Uh, some people find that their bodies are still adjusting to their natural weight. And once the body gets to its natural weight, then uh, any extra weight loss stops. But this doesn't happen to everyone. Um, during and after consolidation. Um, but it does happen to a number of people, and that's what the whole, oh, what shall I say, that's what the whole goal is. The weight loss is actually, Tabby, and I think you know this, but it's almost incidental or it's a side effect of the wonderful rebalance that mm. takes place on the program, which of course will help you protect yourself from premature aging, um, in, enhances your health in general, uh, and um, basically changes a lot of people's view of themselves and their life. Um, has your desire uh, for, say, what you want to do in the next five years, has that shifted by any chance uh, while you were on Cura Romana or since then? It definitely has. I want to study early childhood, and that's something that I've always wanted to do. But now, and I'm not sure if it is the confidence within myself, but I just feel now is the best time to for me to do that. I feel I'm in the right headspace to go forward and say, right, now's the time to do it. You can't afford to put it off any longer because that's what you really want to do. Fantastic. Tabby, I'm so proud of you, and you are an inspiration to all of us, and I'm so grateful to you for making the time to speak to me today. Um, so thank you. You're welcome. You've given me this amazing gift, and I just couldn't imagine life going forward without what I know now. Well, it's a pleasure, my friend. Bye for the moment. Bye. Bye.